I grew up in this small town in Utah where 90% of the community were Mormons. And being raised as a Mormon, you just kind of know that you're not viewed as being a true Christian by most of the other Christians. And so when Romney ran and we got hammered as a community, that wasn't really news to us. What was news was just how badly so many Christians did treat us. You Mormons think one day you will actually be a God? Show me Mormon doctrine in the Book of Mormon, folks. Joseph Smith was wrong. Snap out of it. Put it on. Foolish underwear is going to sanctify you. An Indian Impact segment tonight attacking Mitt Romney because of his Mormon religion. If you vote for Mitt Romney, you are voting for Satan. Even though he talks about Jesus as his Lord and Savior, he is not a Christian. Who could be more perfect than Mitt Romney? He's got a great wife, he's got wonderful children, does wonderful things, he's got beautiful teeth. I mean, he's a great guy. But the problem is, he's following a false theology straight to hell. There is a difference between Mormon and Christian, our nation is a Christian nation. This has nothing to do with religion. This is about power. This is the American version of the Taliban, the biblical equivalent of calling for holy war. The Bible makes it very clear. Contend for the faith. This is a problem for every minority religion. Hinduism is what made us free. Hinduism is a lie from the pit of hell. I think I just explained that to you. How's that for being tolerant? Where are all the true leaders that identify themselves with the religious right? What would Jesus do? He would say, you be a neighbor. And how do you know when it is that you are a neighbor? When you behave like this Samaritan. Jesus says I'm supposed to love this guy, and I can't do that. I know I'm not the only Mormon that feels this way. My Bible teaches us that God is love. And so if you don't feel love, that's because you don't feel God. There was nothing in the parable of the Good Samaritan that even suggested that the Good Samaritan hung out with the Jew and that they were best buds. I'm not here to run for mayor. I'm not here to kiss babies and pass out cigars. I'm here to preach what God says. I'm just trying to make friends with some of them, any of them. My soul is at stake here. You can tell when people care, and you can tell when people don't. Like the story of the Good Samaritan. It didn't say he was a Christian. It didn't say he was Muslim. It didn't say he was Mormon. It didn't say he was any other religion. But it did say he was good. The Samaritan does the right thing. I just want to see if you and I could be close friends. You have to be a Christian. The question was, do you have any friends who aren't Christians? Oh, give me a break. We should be serving people. We shouldn't be shouting them down. You're saying Mormons look like they came from Penn State. And the street preachers look like they came from the state pen. <laughs> and do I have Mormon friends? Many of them. Oh, they love me, but they know that I'm going to share with them the Jesus that'll set them free. I've discovered wonderful, profoundly good people in religions that I despise. I have expressed are my own, have not been paid, and don't expect to be paid. And no Mormons were harmed during this film. <laughs>